have any millennials in the audience. I knew there were a ton of Gen Xers, but you're, ah, right. I mean, they say that 25% of the leadership in this country now is lead, led by millennials. And millennials, it's really interesting because your dates are, are 1980 to 1996. So how many of you guys are in your 30s? Yeah. So what are you? Are you a millennial or are you a Gen X? They call you x because you have no idea. They say that you have the heart <laughs> of a millennial. You care, you care. But you also have the drive of a Gen Xer. You have the work ethic of a Gen Xer. So you're x so you're in between. So you're becoming the bridge right now. But I love millennials because they changed. For me as a speaker, they brought me a ton of work. I have to be honest with you. Gen X, nobody cared. I'm so sorry, but really people did not want to hear. But when millennials came on the scene, Gen X, and then the baby boomers, we sandwiched you in between two of the most self-absorbed generations out there. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So anyway, millennials, you brought purpose into the workplace. If you think about most of the things that we talk about right now, if you look at corporate websites, take a bow because it's up to you. You are the ones that brought this to the workplace. You brought thought, purpose, ideas, and you brought this into the workplace and you changed the world of work. You changed the world of work. You're independent, but you're a team player. I've never just seen a millennial. I see 20 at a time. Did anybody else notice that they just like, they work in a pack and they walk around in a pack and they're, they're extremely social and they love their friends. Now, Gen X, do you have any friends? I'm sure you do, right? A few, a few. <laughs> Well, think about millennials and baby boomers. We have friends. We just don't remember them. <laughs> I said I would. OK. So anyway, millennials are open to change. Why? Because when you begin to think about young people, what do they want? They want to change the way things are. And so they're always looking to improve. They were called in the very beginning generation Y. Like, why do you do that? So we have a generation right now that is open to change, a generation that is purpose-driven and independent. They're adaptive in the workplace. So they have changed the way the world works. And I like to watch as they get older, because they are also called the generation that put off adulthood for about a decade. So they're starting to buy homes right now, and they're starting to have families right now. Many of them are just entering into this world. So we'll really see when the changes happen, because you know when you buy a house and you've got kids and they're going off to college, you change. <laughs> anyway, so millennials, I love you, but I've got to move on.